if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We find that scripture in 1 John chapter 1, verse number 9. The faithfulness of God, the ability to be able to overcome sin because of the forgiveness of God. Chapter 1, verse 10 says, If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. So if we say that we have not sinned, then we miss salvation because of our own inability to confess and to deal with sin. See, sin is a uh, problem that we have to take seriously because if we don't and we deny sin, then we'll never find ourselves going beyond the very judgment of sin, and that is death. You see, the thing about it is that this is a wonderful promise of God. It's a great blessing from God to be able to have this knowledge and understanding that we don't have to, quote, die for our sins because Jesus Christ has already done that for us. You see, chapter 2, 1 John, he says, My little children, these things I write unto you, that you sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. That is the gospel. We understand the gospel simply means the good news, and that is the good news. That first of all, if we sin, then we have the ability to be able to call into the Father and to ask that our sins be forgiven. Understanding that, that was the plan for the very, very beginning that God would send his own son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross, that horrible death, for all the sins of humanity. And that he would become our advocate, that he would be the one who would be there on the right hand of the Father, pleading our case. You see, if people could understand this, if people could come to that knowledge that sin can be dealt with and that sin can be, quote, taken away, not because of somehow or another we, we learned how to be good, no, because we learned our own inadequacies and we understand our subject or our ability to to fail, but we also know that we have the wonderful privilege to ask Jesus Christ to take our place. And uh, if we ask, the word of God says, and believe, then it'll be granted. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.